all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this session we'll be trying to see how to deploy our streamlight app with docker so a new update is that streamlight has updated their official website with some very cool design very interesting and very nice and now there is a new option of deploying your apps with the streamlight deploy which is very very interesting it is useful for teams you can join it here very simple just go with streamlight deploy then deploy app that is a very simple way very very nice which is really built for teams so now let's see how to deploy our app which is running locally on our system here you can see our simple app running locally on our system using docker right so how do you do that so docker is a very nice service that allows you to be able to build share and deploy your app with simplicity so a simple de definition of docker is like either you run your app in, on your local system or you use a virtual machine or you use docker right so there are a lot of tutorials online that explains docker so what we'll be doing is that this is going to be our workflow we're going to create a docker file which is going to have the instructions on what to do to build a docker image then we're going to run our app from the docker image and build different containers so that is going to be our workflow so docker is going to use our docker file which is just an ordinary plain file with some instructions on such as from the particular base image you want to use run work directory expose command line and it's going to build it based on layers or based on steps then we're going to build the docker image and from docker image you are going to build individual containers so once you're able to build the docker image you can deploy it on gcp you can deploy it on heroku or aws so let's see how to do that from scratch so i'm just going to go to stop this one that is running right and then just start from scratch so i'm just going to create a directory let's call it a cd we're going to move into a different directory it's going to be our streamlight app perfect right so we have this virtual environment which is having our pip file so i'm just going to activate it so pip env install we'll be installing streamlight Th these are the things we'll be using and then maybe pandas right so i've already installed so just move straight away to it then we'll activate our virtual environment so pip env shell it's so going to activate our virtual environment inside this particular folder called streamlight very interesting and very simple so whilst it is activating it let's build our app i'm just going to use sublime test to create an app so let's create a file called touch.app.py then i'll use sublime to open our app so perfect so it's open it this is an empty file right so i'm just going to build a simple app so import stream light as st then I'm going to create a simple main function then do everything there. so i'll copy the code and paste it there to save time so i'll paste it here perfect so that's something very basic something very simple right so our app this is the app that to be running not the same app we are running locally here perfect so we have been able to build a simple app the next requirement is that we need to be able to get docker on our system so in case you don't have docker you can just go to the official website which is get docker right then you can just follow the instructions on how to install docker on your system so they have support for linux for windows and several others so that is one way of installing it or you can go to our devops page which is going to give you a simple instruction on how to install docker on your linux or ubuntu system that is the basic idea so now it has finished activating perfect so we are in our virtual environment here so what we need is that if we check here we have our app.py file we have our pip file which is having all the instructions on it so if i cut my pip file we have all this stuff so these are the things we need to be able to run our app anytime we are running our app so i'm just going to convert this pip file into a requirement.txt file so it's going to be my pip env then log dash r then i'll pipe it to our requirement requirement.txt file right perfect so it's going to copy the various requirements within our virtual environment into this requirement.txt file perfect so that's finished so if i go back to ls i can see that when i cut my requirement.txt file i can see that you have all the various things that is required to build our app perfect so these are the main things that we have done so so we have gotten everything set up now we need to be able to build this docker file right so let's start building it so i'm just going to go back to 
this same place and create a docker file so the docker file is just a normal plain file without any extension which will save it as docker file right that is the name of the file so in the same place that my app is i'm going to call it as docker file so docker file don't add any extension to it so i'm going to save it then from here we're going to place in some instructions so the instructions are going to be what our docker diamond or our docker engine is going to use to build up that means that we are creating a file here then our docker diamond is going to use this particular file with all these instructions to build a docker image right which is going to be like an operating system with everything that is required it's going to build something like this a simple operating system with everything required to build an app very simple Okay, so let's start so the first thing that we need to create a base image from python the reason we are using python is that there are several base images right so if you go to docker hub which is docker hub you can see a collection of all the various images that you can use with so if i go with python it's going to give us the official python image which is what was updated about an hour ago so this official image right so you can use Ubuntu, you can use our uh, Pine, you can use several of them, but this particular image has Docker has Python already installed on it. So that is the basic idea. So you can see the various tags there, 3.9, 3.81, 3.7. So I've, I'm going to specify a particular tag by going with 3.8, right? It can be 3.7, can be any as you wish. So let's use 3.7. That's going to be the first step. So this is going to be the base image, right? That's the first step. Then now we're going to go and create a working directory where we want our app to work. So we're going to be work directory. Then I'm going to create a working directory called app.py. That's the next step. Then I'm going to copy my requirements file. So if I come back here, let's position it well. So I'm going to copy my requirements file into the new directory that I'm creating. Right, That is the basic idea behind it. So let me position it well. I'll copy that one here, right? It's going to be copy. Then I'll copy the requirements. The TST file to my new location. So it's going to be copy from our source, right, to our destination. This is going to be requirements. requirements can spell comment comments dot tst right so we are copying from our source to our destination very interesting that's the next step now we need to be able to install the various things that are on this particular requirement the tst file right which is so how do we do that so we're going to be using the run so run then we're going to use pip you can use pip3 or pip itself then install dash r requirement tst file right so it's going to be using this requirement the tst file that we have we have to install everything and set up a working environment inside this particular working working area simple then you're going to expose a port so the port you are exposing port 0 501 which is the same port that this one was running on so realize that our port was running on this particular port so we are exposing this particular port so that from the container we'll be able to see it at work that is the next step then we are going to copy our app from the current directory to our working area so we are copying it to our working area then we need to create an entry point it's going to be entry point so the entry point is going to make our container or our image executable, right? Very interesting. So we have two forms. We can have the normal shell form, which can be like stream light app is a normal shell form. Or you can just use the, the, the nice form, which is going to be the exec form, which is in the format of a JSON array. So this, we have, what we are putting here is the same command we would have run in case I was running the app here. I don't know. Mm, okay. Can't remember where it is. Like in case I was running the app, I would have gone with streamlight. Let me expand it. Streamlight run app right. So dot pi. So this is the command I'm putting inside my entry file. So I'm going to put that same command here. So stream light then C 
separate it again to run perfect then i'm going to go on with a cmd so you can put everything that you are putting at the entry point inside the cmd within the same thing exec form and app dot pi right so what we are doing is that simple simply we are trying to put the same command trying to put the same command here right inside our entry point then the app.py inside our command right you can make it simple you can put all of them here you can make it like this option so cmd then streamlight run app.py any of them is going to work but let's use the first one perfect so that is the basic idea so we have created our docker file now how do we build our image how do we build this particular image Right. how do you build an image so to build an image you could be using the build command then we will build an image so if i come back here and i check it now see that i have my docker file right so if i do three i have my docker file here right so this is the file that you'll be using to build an image so how do we build it so you can check that particular file by going with docker the cat file to see everything here well now how do we build it so we are going to build it in a simple way by using docker so in case you don't have docker just install it with the instruction that we give below there will be a link below on how to install docker so it's going to be sudo docker then just apply build then t for tag then we're going to give the name of the image that you want to give for how do you want to call your image how do you want to call the image for the that you are building right so we're going to give it as let's call it as something simple so let's call it my st app for my streamlight app then you're going to give it a tag right so give it a tag name so let's go to flip this perfect and you're going to go with dot so this is how to run it so docker is going to look in the current directory and then search for the docker file this particular docker file and then run it for us that is one way of running it the other alternative is that you can also do the same thing but instead of going with the dot you can just go with f that's f right then you supply the docker file so this is useful in case you have two docker files maybe you have a docker dot product file for production and maybe a docker dot dev file for development right that is when we use this particular option but it's still going to work anyway so let's use the first method which is the simplest one it's going to be this option then it's going to build for us so uh, telling docker to use our current docker file to build this particular image right for us so let's start running it then it's going to run perfectly for us. So in case you have, I lost my password. <laughs> it's going to run it perfectly for us. So sending build contest to Docker diamond. Then it's going to build the first step. So it's going to build the first step, then the working directory, then using caching copyright. It's like this has become fast because I've already built it before, right? That is why it was very fast, very interesting. So this is going to be the. So this is going to be the image that has been built and that's been tagged so if i if i want to see all the images i can just go with sudo docker then i'll supply images so if i go with images it's going to list all the images i have on my system so this is the latest one i built which was built 24 seconds ago and this is the size very interesting so now let's create an image a container not from the image that you have created so it's going to be the same thing so sudo docker run then dash p then the dash p is trying to help us to expose the port that we created right so on our docker file we created we exposed this particular port so we are going to expose the port for the incoming and then for the outgoing so it's going to be 8501 then we're just going to go with another 8501 right so this is the one for the container right very interesting then i'll just supply the name of my app which was my st app dot latest that is all so we have to make sure that this is not still running so we have to exit from this and make sure that the port is not running right so i'll just go straight away to this it's going to run and open a container or build a container for us so it's giving us an error contest cancel so we have to fix this one so because that said because that address is already in use right so the reason is not working is because the address is already in use so we have to stop that address so I'll edit from here and then let's start again so I'm just going to do the same thing 
Okay, so let let this work in. So I run it again to sudo docker. Right, we are in the same place that we have. We are in this particular place that we have, right? So sudo docker run dash p for the port eight five zero one then eight five zero one again then i'll supply the name of my docker app right which was my st app the latest perfect so it's going to ask for my password that's going to run perfectly for us So the basic idea of what we have done so far is that we created a Docker file with some instructions on it. Then we use our Docker engine to build a Docker image. Then from our Docker image, we are building a container with all the necessary things required to launch or deploy our Streamlight app. Right? This is the new logo for Streamlight. Okay, so let's see what it has done so far. So that's, that's open. So I can just copy this particular network URL and then I will paste it here. So let's close this one off. And then let's try it. I just put it here so that the URL is totally different, right? So it's going to run perfectly and give us a working deployed Streamlight app. So that is how to deploy your Streamlight app with Docker. Very simple. So the same approach can be used to deploy on Heroku, on uh, GCP, on Azure, and all the various cloud platforms which allows Docker deployment, right? That's the same idea. So in case you also want to deploy it on GCP, you can also use the same idea. In case you also want to deploy it on Azure or Azure, <laughs> you can still use the same idea. So that is how to deploy it. Everything is working as expected. So in a nutshell, what you need is that you need, a sim you need to install Docker, then you create a Docker file, right? You create a Docker file, then you use this particular command to build your Docker image based on the file then you deploy it with this particular option so thank you for watching and in case you are not subscribed to this channel you can also subscribe and check the links below for some interesting materials to help you master machine learning and python thank you and see you see you in the next session stay blessed